What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Art Episode 2. Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenitsu have been enlisted by Tengen to go to the Entertainment District Art infiltrate it and get some intel about demons yeah we're gonna be flashy in this episode actually i don't know but i'm assuming we are yeah boy we're going where sins are where they sell bodies in different ways look at zenny so he gets it look at that blushing I am God, you are trash. So cute. I don't care for the monkeys. <laughs> so skeevy looking. What are you the god of specifically? Oh, so endearing, Tanjiro. Flashiness. I am the god of festivals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the mountains. Nice to meet you, God of Festivals. <laughs> Cringe worthy. <laughs> Has a distaste for those living in the same dimension. He doesn't like others that are similar to him, huh? He's doing the ninja run. Well, not, you know, not the run where the arms are behind the back, but like the super fast kind. Tengen... Uzui, god of festivals. Infiltrating the entertainment district. So, I'm going to assume they're going to dress as girls. Since Tengen needed girls. I think Inosuke should be fine because he has a pretty face, yeah? Don't get out of the carriage. And they get out of the carriage. Okay, okay. Let's, let's be rambunctious youngsters here. <laughs> Stinking brats. <laughs> Oh, he really is like an animal. He's freaked out by the people and the lights. Too much activity. Human activity for Inosuke. Swirling with love and hate. <laughs> Teaming with people. <laughs> You would think is an introvert, yeah. Yellow boy. 
We have candy. Oh, you better not be Trinesico. You're too young for this. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good place for a demon, because everybody's alive at night. Highest ranked is Orin. Wisteria! Is this going to be their headquarters? First look for my bride. <laughs> He's mad because he... Because women... <laughs> <laughs> Has no luck with women. <laughs> That's what you fantasize. <laughs> He's like. I throw evidence at you of what's going on. She's been undercover for a long time. Three wives. How did you get three wives? What's the story behind that? He's so mad that he has three. Not only one, but three. Remember how he reacted to Tanjo when he thought Nezuko was, you know, his girlfriend? They're all ninjas! Oh, so he sent them out because he couldn't get intel himself. Suma of the... Okay. He's like, they're probably dead. <laughs> you don't tell that to someone who's looking for their wives. <laughs> Inusuke, why does he look so derpy? He doesn't need makeup. Ooh, she's getting smitten by him. Please, take one. <laughs> Wait, did he just pick a random one? I 
I'm not talking to you. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to give you the silent treatment. It's that face of yours. Look at you, you're a stud! <laughs> he thought that he was a weirdo who couldn't get a woman. And then he's like, you have three wives? How can you get three wives? And now he finds out how, because he's actually handsome. <laughs> like, add salt to the wound multiple times. <laughs> Okay, that little girl to the bottom left has interesting eyes. No, that's not his wife. If that was his wife, he wouldn't be looking for her. She get killed in the mountains. <laughs> Ogimoto house. She's caught the eye. I have a sure eye for these things. There we go. I mean, she's totally like eyeing him out. You think she's like the coach in Kuroko basketball? Where she can totally see the specs of every athlete. Like the measurements and whatnot. You think that's what she did to Inosuke? See? Wait! We called it! We knew he didn't need makeup! Better for a girl to be plump and meaty. More muscular than plump. <laughs> More muscular. Kyo Goku House. This is the last house. I'm so sensing some emotion there. <laughs> Electric guitar. <laughs> She's so dynamic. They're so nice with their compliments, their commentary. Is that true? Can can he really do that? <laughs> she sure is ugly. They're calling her ugly. Chaperone Hag was totally smitten. You shouldn't talk about his looks in front of Zenitsu. Oh, she's gonna be like a big sister to Zenitsu, but... Please, just take her. I'd even give, in, give her away for free. Insult to injury. <laughs> he totally resembles a woman who resents a man who sold her away. <laughs> oh. She found the scar on your forehead. <gasps> That's right. Scars are no-nos. It's like they're damaged goods. 
no one wants to pay for someone with scars or at least visible ones. You, I think that scar saved him. He can spy in his own way instead of serving customers. Ashinuke? Yeah, what is it? It means to run away from here without paying off your debts. Huh. Oh, they're saying that she ran away. Lies. Eat it in secret by yourself. Why? Because you poisoned it and you don't want anyone else to know that he had candy from you? I'm watching you. Suspicious. Suspicious. Boy, you're prying into too early. You gotta build more rapport. Don't be rash. What's wrong with you? Are you gonna blow up? A normal expression when he lies. He can't assume a normal expression when he lies? So... He doesn't have a poker face. He needs to work on that. She was such a grounded girl. So the demon planted a diary to make it look like she ran away. How convenient. Yes, yes, that is very convenient. Like, why would they pick the head person, the breadwinner of the house, unless they knew that they were undercover? Mm-hmm, you better have that bad feeling. Yep, seems like uh, the demons caught on to your wife's axe. I wonder if there's like an upper rank demon and she has subordinates in each house. <laughs> That's such a common thing for warriors when they wear dresses that they're not accustomed to. <laughs> she shut herself in her room. Mmm, you found his wife already. <laughs> Why are you seething? 
You have a husky voice. Yes, he does. You stink at falsetto. We've always commented by how husky his voice is. <laughs> I think it's so funny that it's worked against him. <laughs> but he does have a foul mouth too. Who were you writing these letters to? Inosuke, you gotta save her! Nen -nen. You're a stunner. <laughs> Seems to have taken a shine to the Shimasen. Quite a skilled player. His skills are electrifying. <laughs> <laughs> he saw his reflection, he was like shocked <laughs> how by how ugly he is. <laughs> And that's my reaction to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc Episode 2. This episode was so funny! They were doing world building for the Entertainment District. And they were showing us the different houses. And they were showing how each character was put in a very unique situation. You know, Tanjiro had the scar. is doing the music. And Inosuke is pretty. <laughs> I like it. This is going to be so good. I'm so excited for the future episodes. Oh, yes. But what did you think about this episode? And what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Lehusipurfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where you talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, links to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc Episode 2. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!